Hello everyone. All right, so I'm going to show to all of you on how to solve question 13 in the textbook questions. Okay, we look at the question 13A1 first. Okay, sine x plus 30 degree equal to 2 cos x. Okay, so how to solve? And before we solve the any trigonometric equations, we have to see and check the domain of the uh, range of the x, okay? So the degree, okay, the angle is between 0 until 360 degree. Okay, so I'm focused the question number 1 only. So we see how to solve this one. Okay, so sine x plus 30 if we see this kind of the question, all right, we have to chunk this trigo and must be referred to the addition formula, okay? Addition formula. So sine we have the once we have the positive and the another operation we have the ne uh, minus, okay, or subtraction. So for the sign that have the operation of the addition, okay, addition operation, so we can uh, split them into the sine x cos 30 degree. Okay, if the operation is addition, so we have to put plus, okay, plus cos x sine 30 degree okay equal to 2 cos x okay so we have to simplify cos 30 degree equal to what sine 30 degree equal to what so you have to memorize okay for all uh, students all right for all students, you have to memorize the special angle, okay, special angle's value so that you can uh, save your time in exam to solve the trigonometric equations. Okay, so if we press in the calculator or we look the trigonometric for the special angles in the tables, so cos 30 degree is equal to 3 over 2. Alright, so we write down 3. 3 over 2 sine x plus okay sine 30 so sine 30 equal to 1 over 2 okay 1 over 2 cos x equal to 2 cos x all right so this one all denominator over 2 so I try to eliminate the denominator so times both equation by 2. So just left set 3 sine x plus cos x equal to 4 cos x. Alright, so I try to gather the same term, okay, the same term. Okay, so I move, I shift the cos x into the right side. So, my equation will be set 3 sine x equal to 3 cos x. Okay, so, we have a sine and we have a cos. So, in our mind, we can uh, make them as a tangent. Okay, so, I try to move cos bring to the left side so it will become the division okay divide by cos x and then the set 3 i move into the right side so what happened sine x over by cos x we have a tangent x equal to 3 over set 3 all right so we have a tangent x equal to 3 over by set 3 so as you can see here, the tangent, 
Okay, the ratio for the tangent is positive. So if the positive, we have to remind ourselves the positive tangent is located at the first quadrant and third quadrant. Alright, so we have to know about this one. Okay, so the positive tangent located at the first quadrant and third quadrant. So as you can see here in the question, the range of the our angle is between 0 degree until 360 degree. Okay, so now you have to find out the reference angle. So reference angle... We symbolize as a alpha. So alpha equal to, you have to shift tangent 3 over by set 3. So just press in the calculator, it gives you 60 degree. Alright, so it means the reference angle, so this one is a reference angle, 60 degree, and at the third quadrant, the reference angle is 60 degree. Alright. So, you can find out the values of x equal to. So, at the first quadrant, so the angle is 60 degree. Okay, what about the third quadrant? The third quadrant, okay. The reference angle is 60. But, for the values of x, we uh, measure from the first quadrant until the third quadrant. Alright. So, until here is 180 degree, so you have to add with 60 degree, so it gives you 240 degree. Alright, so that's our answer. Very easy. Alright, so that's all for today.